I mean, it sounds like it would be like a first impression case, which we, it, because it's a brand new act and it's never been tested in court. So at this point, it's almost like anybody can interpret it any way they want, right? But it, I agree with you that it seems uh, kind of a ridiculous interpretation to say that this law that was put in place to protect against race-based hair discrimination uh, would have this massive loophole of um, allowing the regulation of the length of a law, right? Because that seems to me probably exactly what this act was trying to address. They clearly seem like they're kind of targeting this child and picking on this child. And the fact that this high school even has this kind of policy seems to me like definitely like a violation of the Crown Act. I think it's a violation of the civil rights. I mean, you you do give away some rights as a student in a high school. Like you don't have your same free speech rights that you would otherwise, because there's this idea that your rights have to kind of align with other students being able to learn, but your hairstyle isn't going to infringe on somebody else's ability to learn. So it seems to me like a violation of actually his First Amendment. Your you your your speech is not only your speech. Your speech can be your hairstyle, and that can be a statement of his belief. So I think his family's got a ton of good arguments uh, to fight against something like this.